a very good morning students in this video we are going to see the different types of windows that are used for fir filter design we know fir filter is a finite impulse response filter in which the impulse response will be of finite duration and these windows will be helping us to convert the infinite duration impulse response sequence into a finite duration impulse response sequence so only with the help of windows we are going to convert an infinite duration sequence into a finite duration sequence let's see the different types of windows first the first most commonly used window is called rectangular window for which the window function is W R of n is equal to. It is usually represented as W R of n, which is equal to one. For n is equal to zero to n minus one, and it is zero otherwise. And if we plot the time domain representation for this window function W R of n, we are going to get a sequence like this. That is, for example, if we consider n to be equal to 7 then in this case 0 to n minus 1 its value is 1 so here it will be from 0 to 6 the value that is amplitude of this particular window sequence is going to be 1 this is what is represented here so from 0 to 6 all samples are going to have a amplitude of 1 now since it resembles the shape of rectangle it resembles the shape of rectangle we are naming this window as rectangular window if you look into the spectrum of this rectangular window the spectrum is given by w r of omega is equal to sin omega n by 2 divided by sin omega by 2 and if this spectrum that is in the frequency response of this w r of n is given as w r of omega and if we plot this frequency response of rectangular window the plot is going to appear like this and uh, this lobe we will be naming it as main lobe it is called as main lobe and all the other lobes are called as side lobes they are called as side lobes so usually if you take any window the width of the main lobe will be more and all the side lobes the amplitude as well as the width is going to decrease and as this omega approaches pi this is going to decay gradually and it reaches zero and if you consider this rectangular window in this rectangular window the width of the main lobe is it's from minus pi 2 pi by n to 2 pi by n so total width of the main lobe is going to be 4 pi by n and much of the energy of this particular window uh, not only this particular window all different types of windows more energy will be concentrated or gets uh, getting gets accumulated only within this main lobe so this will be the spectrum of rectangular window coming to the second type of window it is called as bartlett window which is otherwise called as triangular window and in its, its window function is given by W T of n is equal to one minus two n minus n minus one by two by n minus one in the range from zero to n minus one and zero otherwise. Now in this window function, if I take n to be equal to zero, if I take n as zero, then this term, the second term, is going to be zero, which will give us W T of one's value as one. That is why in the time domain representation. For n is equal to zero, its magnitude is represented as one, and for all other values of n not equal to zero, on either sides, both in the positive as well as in the negative side, as n increases, the magnitude is getting decreased. In the positive side also, it is getting decreased, as well as in the negative side also, it is getting decreased. Now, since this is having a shape of a triangle, we are naming this as a triangular window or Bartlett window. coming to the spectrum of this 
the spectrum W T of omega of this window function is given by sin n minus 1 by 2 omega divided by sin omega by 2 the whole square and the plot of this frequency response for this particular window is going to appear like this and here the width of the main lobe ranges from minus 4 pi by n to 4 pi by n so total width is going to be 8 pi by n the third type of window that can be used for FIR filter design problem is called Hamming window and the window function for this Hamming window is WHM of n is equal to 0.54 minus 0.46 cos of 2 pi n by n minus 1 in the range from 0 to n minus 1 and 0 otherwise. Now if the range is range of n is from 0 to n minus 1 we can make use of this formula and in some problems we will be making use of the range of n as from minus of n minus 1 by 2 to n minus 1 by 2. Now in such cases the same formula instead of minus here you have to put plus. So 0 0.54 plus 0 0.46 cos of 2 pi n by n minus 1 whenever the range is from n, n is equal to minus n minus 1 by 2 to n minus 1 by 2. The time domain representation for this Hamming window is being drawn here. And if you look at this, this is the spectrum of the Hamming window function. And here again, the width of the main lobe is from minus 4 pi by n to 4 pi by n. The next type of window that will be used is called Hanning window, which is otherwise called as raised cosine window. And this Hanning window has a function of 0.5 minus 0.5 cos of 2 pi n by n minus 1 for the range from 0 to n minus 1 and here again if the range of n that we choose is from minus of n minus 1 by 2 to n minus 1 by 2 then instead of minus sign here you have to put plus so if the formula becomes the window function becomes 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 cos of 2 pi n by n minus 1 and if you plot the time domain representation for this function Hanning window function it will be like this that is it is a smooth version of triangular window in triangular window we will be having sharp cutoffs whereas here there is a gradual increase and gradual decrease so this is a, uh, we can say that this is a smooth version of triangular window and uh, if we compare this triangular windows time domain representation with that of that is uh, Hanning windows time domain representation with that of Hamming windows time domain representation the difference is here the Hanning window function starts at zero starts at this point that is 0 amplitude whereas here this Hamming window function it starts at point zero 0.08 this is the difference now the spectrum for this Hanning window is going to appear like this and even in this Hanning window also we have minus 4 pi by n to 4 pi by n as the main lobe width now apart from these four windows, these are the four mainly used windows that is rectangular, Bartlett, Hamming as well as Hanning window. So apart from these four windows, we have two other windows which can be named as, you can name it as Blackman window the other window is named as Kaiser window. So these are the other two windows that can also be used for solving FAR design problems but most probably you will get problems to be solved only using this four types of windows that is rectangular, Hamming and Hanning will be most commonly used, rarely you will get triangular, Blackman as well as Kaiser windows. Hope you have understood the different window functions and the different types of windows that we use to solve FAR that is that we use to design FAR filters. Thank you.